So this is Milo. Milo is a cat that is 10 years old and is sailing around the world. And this is her story. So she started sailing at 10 years old. Before that, she only knew a house and a garden. But now she loves to be on the sea. So of course we knew when we got her from a home to a boat, we knew that she needed to get used to the water, but also the engine and the sailing, of course. So we started off slow and started first with getting used to the motors. She's was always very scared cat so getting used to that sound was really necessary so now she's very comfortable with the engine she doesn't mind when we started for the sailing part um the first couple times we had really rough weather so that maybe wasn't a good starting point she usually jumps into the bed under the blanket so she could be safe and that's fine with us because we really like her to be safe there's in this place, nothing can fall on her, she can't hurt herself, and she can't fall, fall out of bed. So it's the best place for her to stay. But the last two sails, we actually got very nice weather, uh, in which she even came out and sit outside, which was wonderful. And that's when we know that she can just adopt to this, to this sailing life, and that she can just go outside with us and sail. Oh, it will take time, but eventually she will get there. She's always with us, and even when we do yoga on the foredeck of our ship. The funny thing is that she really, really loves to help, especially Timo. Hello, she loves to help Timo out with all the chores he has to do on the boat. Yeah, come back. This is where you're coming from, eh? gonna help me? She is a cat that always wants to go outside um, and wants to go on shore and I think that's fine like we let her go on shore jump on jump off the boat but we'll watch her um, because sometimes um, she will go and hop on to another boat and we're a bit scared of that because that boat can just leave with her. So we don't want that. If there's like no boats around, we'll just let her walk on the, on the shore and she's fine with that. She hops on and hops off. So what do we do with food, drink and litter? So we use the same litter box as we had at home. We used the same litter. I wanted to try something else, but that didn't work out. So we sticked with the same stuff. Food, we have a lot of dry food. We have like a dry food for a year now. So everything's in closed bag, except for the one bag that's open for our food. And we store that in a can so it's sealed off and it won't get bad. Um, she also has this soft food that she really, really likes and she only gets it. Um, when we go out sailing and stuff like that because uh, yeah I don't think it's very good for her but she really likes it um, what about water uh, we always have water there for her uh, well about customs um, before I started this journey I really worried about customs and um, like in every country it's, it's different for cats and dogs uh, what they need to have and what they need to do so we decided to give her the rabies vaccine and her use shots of cat disease which is needed in Holland uh, besides that we always deworm her and have stuff for fleas and stuff like that but um, do your homework and look online uh, for the country that you're going um, we had one time that the ghost guard came on board and I was really really worried because I thought oh now they have now she needs to be in quarantine or stuff stuff like that but luckily that was okay she didn't have to go in quarantine and they were really really fine with her so that's nice but she has a passport she's vaccinated for rabies and that would be fine <laughs> 